Hey, seventh graders, this is our Friday quiz for week 12. In the textbook, we're on page 339 to 340 if you need some extra help in your book. I'm going to read you the questions, try to give you some hints, but please remember that you need to, sum um, excuse me, you need to submit your work on Schoology. Some info for the quiz, you have three chances to take this quiz. That means if you score a 90 on try number two, but you get an 80 on try number three, no worries, I will take the highest grade. How do we get to a qu this quiz? We're going to log on to Schoology. We're going to go to our science class. It's going to look something like this. You're going to click on materials on the left hand side that I circled in red. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. Currently, it's going to look like this. Click on week 12 quiz to take this quiz. Friendly reminder that your population growth chart was due on Wednesday. Please make sure that you are keeping up with your work because we are almost done. Let's start off with question number one. The process of removing salt and minerals from ocean water in order to use ocean water for drinking is called A. Detoxing, B. Filtration, C, desalination, or D, osmosis. Your hint here is that you're removing salt, okay, because salt is the really big problem. If we drink salt water, we become dehy dehydrated, we can lead to death. So salt, perhaps the word salt is in one of the answers. That's probably a good hint if you can find the word that kind of sort of sounds like it has the word salt in it. Question two, overfishing is when, A, humans fish out large numbers of fish. B, fish are taken out of the ocean faster than they can reproduce. C, fish populations decrease due to fishing. Or D, all of the above. So think about all the issues that overfishing can cause. Question three, the definition of a population is, so what's the correct answer that explains a population? A, an organism that is made out of cell. So, <laughs> okay, an organism is, I'm just talking about one thing right now. B, a group of different species in the same place. C, the living and non-living things in an area. Or D, a group of the same species in an area. Since you were smart enough to watch this video, I'm going to give you a clue. Here is a picture of a population of zebras. So look at the picture. Is it just one organism? It is, is it more than one organism? Are they the same organisms? Are they different? This will help you give the correct definition of a population. Four, look at the human population growth graph below. In 1850, the human population was about 1 billion. True or false? Okay, so a clue word for this question is about. If you get the word about or estimate, it doesn't need to be exact. Um, you can be more or less a little bit, plus a little bit, minus a little bit. It's just like around when you have the word about. So 1850, let me find it on the graph. Boom, there it is. Let me see the population. Okay, and let me move that over to the y-axis where I have world population in billions. And is that about 1 billion? If it is, then that sentence is true. If it isn't, then that sentence is false. And finally, question number five. Look at the population growth rate chart below. Okay, this looks familiar. This is the same growth chart that you had in your homework on Wednesday. Angola probably has a birth rate higher than their death rate. True or false? Well, let's find Angola on the chart. Lucky for us, it's the first one. It has a population growth rate of about 1.9%. That means that every year the population grows about 2%. So that means like if there are two people, the next year there'll be four people. All right, so... If you have a birth rate that is higher than the death rate, then the population will start increasing. So do you think this is happening with the country of Angola right now? Do you think their population is increasing because their birth rate is higher than their death rate? If you think yes, then this answer is true. If you think no, then this um, statement is false. All right, guys, I know you can do this. Um, you got this, and I will see you back here next week.